All right, what is up? How are you? This is Daniel Barrett here from AdwordsNerds.com. Hope you are doing well. Hope you are feeling wonderful. It is a beautiful sunny day here in Connecticut. Uh, hope you are experiencing the same. Um, I want to talk today. <laughs> I want to talk today about miserable investors. Miserable investors. You guys know uh, I do online marketing for real estate investors. So when I come across real estate investors, they are typically engaged in online marketing. It probably makes some kind of sense to you, right? I do online marketing. They come to me for online marketing or for online marketing help or for online marketing advice or services or whatever, coaching. And there is one thing that I have seen and done and experienced that will make investors miserable more than anything else. This is the thing, if I had to put my finger on it, when I see this thing come in, I see this come across our door, this this comes through in an email or I'm on a call and I hear this, I say, you know, mm, yeah, this is it. This is the thing that's gonna make this person miserable, miserable. And they're gonna be miserable to work with and they're gonna be unhappy no matter what. And I mean no matter what, in, in the sense that I have seen someone do, this is a true story, over a hundred thousand dollars worth of deals for less than five thousand dollars spent so we're talking about a 20 times roi and be miserable about it miserable so i'm going to give this to you this is the secret of success <laughs> this is the key to happiness right for online marketing anyway and specifically SEO, this is where it comes up most. If you're doing SEO, if you think you want to do SEO, search engine optimization, you think that's for you, this is something I want you to listen to very carefully. You have to understand how lead indicators and lag indicators work in this industry. You have to understand those, okay? And this is a thing that comes up for SEO more than any other type of marketing. If you've heard me talk about SEO, you've heard me say SEO is the best return on investment of any kind of marketing you can ever do. Once you get that like high ranking, basically all your leads are free. These are highly motivated leads. They tend to convert more often. They turn into deals more often, right? It's like awesome. Single, really high ranked, really powerful keyword in a valuable market can be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Just one keyword. This is true. Right? This is not something I'm making up. This is verifiable facts. So this is a very profitable type of marketing. But here's the thing. It is going to take you time to do, and that is just the way it is. You can't buck the system. You can't break the chain. You can't break the rules. You can't cheat. You just can't. You're just not going to. Right? It's not going to happen. And most people intellectually understand that. Right. If you say, hey, SEO takes some time to get going, it's like rolling a giant rock down a hill. You know, you got to rock it back and forth and it's kind of moving and it starts to get starts to go. It starts to get a little momentum and then it's really going. Then you can't stop it. Most people get that metaphor. They get this. Right. But when it comes down to actually doing it, the question that is rattling around in their heads, the thing that is making them miserable is this question of like, where's the deals? I'm not getting any deals. I didn't get any deals last week. I'm not getting any deals right now. And I'm not saying you never ask the question of where are the deals. You got to ask that question. That's the only question that really matters. Did I get deals? That's all I care about. Who made money? That's all I care about. I only get paid when clients stay and clients only stay when they get deals. I get this. But you have to understand that deals is a lagging indicator. What do we mean by that? A lagging indicator is the thing that happens at the end of a process when it is working. When you are at the beginning of a process, if all you do is look for the end result, you are going to be perpetually miserable and you're gonna perpetually underperform. It's like if I go to the gym and I say like my goal, the lagging indicator here is for me to have like you know, 5% body fat and be a wall of muscle. Okay, awesome. But if in my first week at the gym, I've never been in the gym, I've never had a diet before in my first week, all I ever do is, do I have 5% body fat? Do I, am I a wall of muscle? And every day I ask myself that, guess what? I'm going to be miserable and I'm going to quit because a weekend I'm going to say this isn't working. 
So if I'm telling you, hey, like deals are important, but that's the lag indicator. Don't look at that in the beginning. Well, what should you look at, right? It's easy to say like, well, it's like, look, Dan, of course you want to say that. It's like, but I need to hold my SEO people to account. So what do I look at? And there are lead indicators for SEO that do correlate with high rankings that you can look at. For example, I will often look at the score I get from a tool that's used for SEO. So something I use is Ahrefs. So A-H-R-E-F-S. I use that for a lot of uh, keyword research. They will give you a score based on a variety of factors. It's not really your rank in Google, but it's just kind of a score. If that score is moving in the right direction, well, guess what? That score is correlated to Google ranking, but it moves more quickly. So it is a valuable leading indicator. Is it the only thing you want to look at? Probably not. But is it more valuable in the beginning than saying how many deals did I get? Absolutely. I can look at the number of referring domains. What is that? Those are unique domains that link to my website. The more of those that I get, generally the better off that I am. Now, is it true that like, absolutely, if that goes up, I'm going to get more deals? No, but the two are correlated. I can look at the number of pages created on the site. I could look at the amount of copy that's been customized or optimized on the site. There are a variety of leading indicators I can watch that are going to show me I am moving in the right direction. Because here is the success path for SEO. I will tell it to you. I will tell it to you right away. This is not a secret. This is the success path. If you want to get deals from Google organic, this is how you do it. You need to get ranked so that you get views. You need to get views so that you get clicks. You need to get clicks so that you get conversions. You need to get conversions so that you get deals. That's it. That's the path. That's the chain. And you cannot skip any single part of that chain. You get clicks, but no conversions. You're not going to get any deals. You get conversions, but no deals because they're all terrible leads. You're not going to get any deals. You get ranks, but you get ranks for stuff that nobody searches for. So you get ranked, but no views. You're not going to get any deals. Every single step in the chain matters. So what you got to do is say, where am I at in this chain? Where do I fall off? Where do I need to solve the immediate problem? And if you can do that for every single one of those five steps, ranks, views, conver clicks, conversions, and deals, you will make money from Google Organic. It is simple, but not easy. So don't make yourself miserable. If you just say, what's my ROI on SEO in the first week? It's not going to be fun. And I know, look, I know, I talk to enough of you people. <laughs> I talk to a lot of investors. You, investors come in with this mindset. It is very hard to undo. This, by the way, is good for you. If you're watching this, this is good for you. Because this is why most investors don't do good SEO. The bar is actually surprisingly low. And if you are willing to invest the time and effort, I guarantee you will punch a lot of people in your local market in the metaphorical face because they ain't ready and they ain't doing the work. So who's willing to show up and actually put in the time? This is Daniel Bear from AdwordsNerds.com signing off. I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.